Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video we started discussion on real-time streaming project with smartphone data where earlier we have implemented this particular pipeline where the ambient brightness we were capturing using smartphone app and the app was pushing those data points in JSON format using our API gateway to Lambda. Okay. And then Lambda using Python code was publishing those messages or events to our Apache Kafka cluster which is running in EC2 instance, right? And using Kafka console consumer, we have printed that messages or events in the console and we observe that if ambient brightness is increasing, then the captured value in Lux unit is also increasing and if the ambient brightness decreasing, then the captured or measured data using the sensor also was decreasing in the console, whatever our Kafka console consumer was printing, right? So just a quick recap what we did in our previous video that we used this particular app which is sensor logger and then here if you open that app, here are multiple options you can see accelerometer, gravity, gyroscope, orientation, magnetometer, then ambient light detection. So this particular parameter we have basically used. So to capture this particular information, we have enabled this toggle. So here you can see the toggle is enabled. And then here, if you want to view the ambient brightness in graph in real time format, maybe you can click on this particular I button and here the graph will be getting displayed, right? So we no need to focus much on this particular topic. Our main point of interest should be how to capture the ambient brightness using this app and post that data to our REST API, right? So for that, what we need to do here, you can see a setting button. That setting button, if you just click, then this particular page will open. There you will be getting an option HTTP data push. Here you have to provide that particular API URL and to publish the data from the sensor app to that API, you have to make that toggle also true. Okay, so the setup will look like this where the toggle is enabled and we can provide the proper URL, right? Once we complete the setup and go back to our first page, then here you can see nothing is getting displayed. But once we configure the HTTP data push, it will be displaying like this, that HTTP data push enabled. Okay, right? And then here we went through this particular Lambda code, which was capturing the light ambient brightness in Lux unit, in light illumination, and that along with capture time, we were publishing in the Kafka cluster, right? Now today in this particular video, we are going to work with another very interesting small project related to this sensor data capture and that is real-time shake detection. Okay, that is we are going to create a real-time shake detection app using accelerometer, Kafka and Python. Okay, so basically what the system will do, if you shake your mobile phone, then the accelerometer data will be rapidly changing, right? Acceleration along x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. So that data will be publishing in Kafka topic. We will take the magnitude of accelerations across different direction. And if sum of all three direction magnitude is exceeding a particular threshold, we can consider that the app is shaking, right? So that particular project, let us try to implement. Okay. So before going ahead with the implementation, I will request you to configure one more setting in the app. So if you go to settings part where we have configured the HTTP data push API, there if you just scroll little below, you will get an option that what should be sampling frequency, okay? So for accelerometer, gravity, gyroscope, orientation, magnetometer, what should be the sampling frequency or interval that you can configure. If you just click on this particular option, this drop down will be open and here you can choose sample up to 1 hertz, okay? Otherwise, if you keep default value, then huge volume of data will be published with a very small interval. Might be that much data is not required in this particular shake detection. So for that, I have configured the sampling frequency to 1 Hz. Okay, right? With this configuration, without any further delay, let's go through the Lambda code and we will go through the consumer code also, which will read the data from the Kafka cluster to acceleration across different directions. It will read from Kafka cluster and then it will compute some calculation on top of that sensor data and then based on a threshold, it will decide that the mobile app is shaking or not. Okay. So let's go through the code. So here I will go to my notepad. I have written all the codes. So if you see here, first we are basically creating the Kafka cluster and topic, all these things I'll be coming. Before that, let me quickly go through the Lambda code. Here if you see, 
the first part input is same like what we discussed in our previous video here we are giving the topic name sensor data consumer 1 and the producer we are configuring pointing to our kafka cluster broker url okay which is basically our ec2 public ip colon 909 right now here we are having our lambda handler it is almost same like earlier so if you recall our previous video i told you that that particular app which capture all the sensor data it accumulates some data points and then publish all together as json array right so that's what here we are basically storing that particular json array in a payload part we are iterating in that json array each time in that single array element we will be having acceleration along x axis y axis and z axis we are consuming them we are consuming the capture time we are creating a fresh dictionary which is having the data points of acceleration values and capture time we are printing the data which is totally optional and then here we are publishing the data and at the end we are flushing it okay so to make sure in the buffer there is no data point remaining right so this is our simple producer code now let's go to our consumer code what we are doing here it is also very simple we are doing all the necessary imports what we did earlier now here we are creating our kafka consumer okay and then here we are iterating one for loop okay it will continuously pull in the backend to our kafka topic for messages and once we get some message the value part we are extracting in the value part it will be basically having this kind of dictionary data what we published from the producer right now from that particular dictionary we can extract the acceleration along all three direction and here obviously you can understand acceleration can have positive negative both values it is kind of vector so here what we are doing we are extracting the magnitude part by taking the absolute values and sum them up and if the magnitude of total acceleration is exceeding 15 value then we are printing it the mobile phone is shaking or else we are printing the mobile phone is ideal and then here we are committing the option as simple as that now here what i will do without any further delay i will launch the kafka cluster in our ec2 instance okay so here i will go to ec2 and then here i will go to instance running currently no instance are running i will just launch the instance quickly the kafka cluster we will be launching here so the ec2 name we are providing kafka cluster and here we are choosing this particular amazon machine image and here key pair name here we are choosing this particular one and then here we are launching the instance okay so here our instance is currently in pending state let it become in running state till then what i will do i will go to security and here i will add the all traffic access okay from anywhere ipv4 so that our lambda can easily publish as well as consumer can easily consume okay right so this particular part is done now let's see what is our instance test it is running so i will copy the public ip and here i will enter using put i will just take my key pair here So here login as ec2 user to make sure no timeout is happening due to ideal we are changing this value to 10 and we will apply that and now here first we will install kafka then here we will unzip that then for running kafka we need java so we will install java So let it install till then what i will do in winscp i will open and i need to change one server properties that advertise listener i will quickly change okay so i'll go to new site i will copy the public ip i'll provide the host name the username is ec2 user and then here authentication i will choose the file for key pair we have used and then here we have entered i will go to kafka folder and then here i will go to config and in config here we are having our server property somewhere this one and i will make this bigger and here you can see that advertise listener your host name 
so here i will copy this particular one and then here i will paste it and i will save this one okay so advertise listener is configured so now our broker will be accessible from ec to public ip okay and here you can see the transfer is also complete that is fine now if java is installed in the backend we will launch zookeeper quickly we will go to this directory and then here we will launch zookeeper and i need to basically duplicate this particular session to launch kafka broker or server in this terminal right so here what i will do i need to execute this export command and this cd command i will do that and once that is done i will start the kafka server so here the server should run in public ip of our ec2 let's check see here that it is running at 18.205.28.67 colon 909 and our ec2 public ip is also 18.205.28.67 right so in same place it is running now here what i will do i will duplicate the session and here i will basically create the kafka topic so for that i will go to this particular directory and then here one thing we need to change that here the public ip we need to provide for ec2 so here what we are doing we are creating the topic with the name sensor data consent okay so let's give that name replication factor 1 partition 1 only as of now i am keeping and here you can see that created the topic sensor data consumer okay now here what i can do i can start the kafka consumer in the console mm -hmm. okay so here see our console consumer started but as of now in the topic there is no message so it is publishing nothing right now here what we will do we will copy this particular lambda code but before that i need to change this particular ec2 public ip here right and here the topic name is sensor data consume i will quickly copy this particular lambda code and then here i will go to aws management console and from there i will go to lambda so here already lambda layer we created earlier the same one we are going to use in this video if you want to know how to create the lambda layer you can check my previous video i will be sharing the link in the description box okay here runtime we are configuring python 3.8 will create the function let me open lambda again in a new tab by the time to copy the lambda layer url so here i will paste the latest lambda code and i will deploy it i will go to lambda layer in the new console and i will copy the erin for this layer i will go to layer i will add the layer so here our layer will be added and our lambda is ready to publish the data in kafka cluster just we need to create a trigger using api gateway which will publish the events which is captured using our smartphone app to lambda api name i can provide kafka publisher i'll create this particular api and then here i need to go to routes create and here we need to post the data so i am choosing post so basically if we hit this particular api with the resource path it will publish or trigger the lambda okay so here i can write the resource path name as publish to lambda and here i can create this one now i will go to post attach integration create an attach integration here lambda function i can choose and in our system only one lambda is there just now what we created so i have chosen that one only and here i will create this one okay right so here it is updated now if we go back to our lambda and refresh this page here we should see that the trigger is added so here you can see that the api gateway trigger is added and now here let's take the complete api 
path somewhere saved in our notepad. So here I will just copy the resource path here. And the main URL of the API I will be getting from here. So basically this is our complete API, right? Now here the consumer code, what I will do, I will write in PyCharm. And by that time, let me do one more thing till PyCharm opens. Let me just update our smartphone app. This particular URL, let me configure. Where I will configure? Basically, if you recall our previous video, that in the settings part in the HTTP data push, here in the push URL, we need to configure the API URL, right? So here I will just quickly do that in my smartphone app so that I can show you the demo. So here I have tested the same consumer code. Only thing I need to change is this particular bootstrap server. So here in this particular case, the bootstrap server URL or broker URL is this one. I will just copy and paste that here. And then here our topic name is sensor data consumer. If you have seen earlier we have created sensor data consumer right and the topic name we have configured the same in the producer so the same topic we are providing in the consumer section okay and then here you can see that we are basically iterating and if the message value is exceeding this threshold we are printing it is checking or else we are printing it is ideal okay so if we just click on this and then here i can click on run main here we will see that no data we will be getting okay even our kafka console consumer is also sitting idle because now we have not started publishing the data right so here what i will do i will copy this particular code to run from the console directly so that you can basically feel the idea in a better way so here what i will do i will keep my consumer code here now here let me open ip webcam so that i can show you the demo of seeking the mobile phone and that time in the console it should be printed and if we are not seeking the mobile phone if it is ideal then it will print ideal okay so here what i will do i'll open command prompt and here i will paste the code and start running it first it will be not publishing any data and then we should see it will start publishing data okay so let me start webcam so here i went to my ip webcam page and then here if I click on browse, then it will start showing the video, okay, whatever is happening in my surrounding, right. So before starting the video, let me just show you this current state that here in this particular comment prompt in our local, our consumer is running, which is basically pulling the topic and it is trying to consume the data. And here in this particular place, our Kafka console consumer is running, right, currently it is showing no data. Now what I will do, I will start the webcam. So here if you see that here in browser I will start the webcam and here if you observe, here I am having my mobile phone with me and then I will click on the setting button. Let me quickly show you what setting I have configured here. In the HTTP data push, I have enabled this particular toggle and in the push URL, here I have configured my API gateway URL and then here in the sampling frequency sample up to one hertz that one i have configured okay now here as soon as i will start recording the accelerometer data it will start consuming because here in the accelerometer part in the toggle we have kept that as on okay now i will start publishing the data so for that what i will do i will basically take my consumer which is running using python code here and you just observe what data point it will show here. Okay. So currently our mobile phone we are keeping still and then here I will start the recording. So here see recording is started and if you observe this particular place here see it is printing ideal. Why it is printing ideal? Because there is no acceleration along x axis, y axis or z axis. Okay. Right. Because the mobile phone is standing still. The threshold value is not exceeding so that way our ideal value it is printing that means our phone is not shaking now what i will do i will shake my mobile phone little bit but before that let me just gently pick up this particular mobile phone 
if we pick up the mobile phone gently still you see that it is throwing ideal on me right so maybe i will on this particular phone once okay so see it is showing ideal in the middle somewhere it shown shaking maybe there is little acceleration happened now what i will do i will shake my mobile phone and see if i am shaking my mobile phone in the console it is showing shaking right now i will stop shaking i will make my mobile phone still and now see it is printing ideal 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 right then again i will just shake my mobile phone when i am shaking the mobile phone here you will see that here in the console it is printing shaking so that way using simple kafka accelerometer data and python we can build a beautiful shake detection app in real time okay there are many usage many mobile phone has this configuration that if you shake your mobile phone very rapidly and for a particular time then some app will open or some activity will happen for security purpose or something so all these things can be happen here also like here if i just shake my mobile phone little bit here you will see that it is again showing shaking and if i just stop shaking it will show ideal ideal like that okay if i just keep my mobile phone still somewhere it will show ideal okay let me just turn on the screen so that you can easily understand so here you see that it is showing ideal because here mobile phone is still right and here parallelly the data always is getting printed in the kafka console consumer which is indicating that the data is produced by our lambda from api gateway from smartphone data and it is publishing okay right so i hope you understood this because the mobile phone is still it is showing ideal as soon as we are shaking the mobile phone that means it will show shaking if the acceleration along all three axes together is exceeding that threshold right so this is one of the interesting application with kafka and smartphone data all the codes i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section you can check there try to implement the same you will have more fun with it if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching